This is browser development tools where we can use it to inspect and look and change different things on our web page. So here we're looking at the ducks and seeing where they come from and look at different properties to do with the image tag there. So we can look at the console, look how all the JavaScript was loaded for the page, and see how the page loaded. Now it hasn't quite got all here, so we need to reload so it shows up. Now because most of it is cache, we got 304s. And we go back. Find out the name of the file name for the ducks, and it's ducks2. So now we can search through our list of files. There we are, there's ducks, and lots of information about it. And as it was 304, let's clear the cache, reload, and it should be a 200. That is a HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol. And that's what the 200 and the 300 are, so we can find ducks again. There they are. Find information about them, the cookie, parameters, the response, and the timings. Now it was 200 so we, we waited for it and then we received it. It was 2 milliseconds very quickly uh, because it was a local host. If we reload the page it should be a 304 and it should be much quicker in terms of receiving the file. Page load is down to a whole range of factors including the performance of your machine and the bandwidth and everything. This is running local face so it should be very fast. We waited a bit longer but didn't take any longer to receive. Let's have a look at some other things. So let's have a look at the header uh, for each section. And we can expect the CSS for it. So we can have a change there and change all H3s there to slightly bigger. changes on the page. This is only at your browser end, it's not changing the server. And we can use that to do other things. And examine Are there any stars for it? Not specifically. So let's have a look at something else. So we've seen there how we can look at the stars for things. So what if we want to increase the size of our paragraph tags? There's an issue there, it's changed everything, so we need to be a bit more specific. Let's find something. Ah, this is a more specific selector, so we can use that in combination with the P tag at the end. Let's try that out. So we can try that out by adding a new selector so if we try this new selector out we find it works for it it does exactly what we need so we can copy that 
and make it more permanent by putting it in the custom CSX box of our theme. Save that. Reload the page. And now it's permanent. Now we can tell that by examining the text again. And there it is, it's in the all generated file.